Nobody's ever seen what goes on inside that ship when it rotates. We've only seen the outside. Yeah. So that's that was one of the inspirations for doing it on this stage, taking advantage of what this stage could do. Spinning's a good trick. <laughs> the ship has this condition where it rotates when it takes off. It starts off flat and then it goes like that. So the pilot sits on his back. When it takes off, it rotates. Now he's sitting upright. But down below is the navigation room. And as the ship takes off and it rotates into its flying condition, that part of the ship stays level. Instantly, I knew that was going to be something we were going to try in the volume. And it got me incredibly excited because I think it's something that kids back in the day would have played with that ship and wondered what it would be like on the inside when it rotates through. It was a bit of a challenge to see if this would work on the screens. But to do that with traditional special effects, you can imagine, would be this huge, complicated rig. So we built an elevated deck with some seats on it. And there's a, a console as well. But that's the set. All the rest of the vehicle is on the content. Action. We got to ultimately shoot it on the stage against the LEDs. And boy, oh boy, was everybody excited. I, I think that was the moment on season two that mimicked the hyperspace being turned on in season one. In other words, it got everybody excited, everybody knew where we were, and everybody felt like a child again. It was wonderful.